On BBC Two now, the series of programmes celebrating the life and work of Bela Bartok continues with his string quartet number three. Here on one in two minutes, there's a change of programme. Field Marshal Sir Claude Ockelneck, a tribute. First, the news headlines with Jan Leeming. With less than ten hours to go before the launch of the Social Democratic Party, the Liberal MP, Mr Cyril Smith, has bitterly criticised the new party. He said the Social Democrats should have been strangled at birth. At a meeting in Berkshire, Mr Smith attacked his party leader, David Steele, for his contacts with members of the new party. And the Shadow Energy spokesman, Mr Merlin Rees, said tonight that the Social Democratic Party might damage both the Conservative and Labour parties in the South, but he described the new party as a South of England phenomenon. A 16-year-old schoolboy who was kidnapped on Monday on his way to school in Cambridgeshire has turned up safe and well in Yorkshire. Mark Thody said two men took him away at knife point. A £100,000 ransom was demanded but never paid. The Prime Minister is to make a full and detailed statement to the Commons tomorrow on allegations that Sir Roger Hollis, the former head of MI5, and the late Tom Dryberg, once chairman of the Labour Party, were Soviet agents. Mrs Thatcher has been under increasing pressure from MPs to hold an official inquiry into Britain's security services since the claims were made by Chapman Pincher in the Daily Mail. Mrs Jill Knight, the Conservative MP for Edgbaston, has been sent a letter bomb at the House of Commons. A postman sorting letters in the Commons mail office became suspicious of the package and called in explosives experts. Mrs Knight said the bomb contained glass and was sent to disfigure her, but could easily have killed her. A letter has been sent to the Sun newspaper signed by an organisation calling itself ERA, admitting responsibility for the bomb, but Scotland Yard say they've never heard of the organisation. And finally, the Rainbow Warrior, the boat belonging to the Greenpeace Conservation Group, has been seized off the coast of Canada and two of her crew have been arrested. They'd been trying to stop the annual seal hunt by painting seals with green dye to make them worthless to hunters. The boat was seized for allegedly violating Canada's 12-mile limit. And that's all the news for today. Good night. And now on BBC One, a tribute to one of our greatest military men. Field Marshal Sir Claude Auchinleck died in Marrakesh in Morocco on Monday. He was 96. The Orc, as he was affectionately known by his troops, never published any memoirs. But six years ago he did speak, for the first and only time, to David Dimbleby about his long career as one of our most outstanding soldiers. The Orc's career, apart from the Second World War, 